All right, we're back on the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. Um, we're going to get to the Ohio State, Ohio State, the college football uh, disaster that's going on over there in just a little bit. But first, I don't know how this topic came up, but somehow we decided we were going to talk. I made about it up. What, I thought it'd be a good middle of the summer hypothetical. All right, beautiful. Well, it was, it's, it's a good idea. One hit wonders in Cleveland sports history. Yeah. Man, we've had a lot of them. Now we've had a lot of no hit wonders, but we have had a number of memorable one hit wonders. Yeah. Um, Bull, why don't you start yeah, us off? Yeah, Tim stole my thunder, yeah, as they I did. say, right? Uh, Peyton Hillis is the obvious choice. Yeah. He, you know, Tim gave you a bunch of the reasons already, right? I mean, he had, he had been a, you know, an okay player with Denver in a limited role before coming here, right? But he had this one season that he was really good, played a huge role, scored 11 touchdowns. Like, the guy... And he never did anything like that before or after. So Would he, he come from Arkansas? Ultimate... Is that where he played? Uh, I think so. I mean, he lives in Arkansas now. He's an actor in Arkansas now. He's not really an actor. Like nobody, no legitimate IMDb. place yeah, to he's, hire he's, him. He was, in, he was in a horror movie. <laughs> he, yeah, he's doing some low, but whatever. Like he D is, level. We we he's not really an actor. He's we, not Brad Pitt. He's, he's, he's low in some budget. Real That's what he's about to say. Low we budget. We interviewed field. him a couple of months ago <laughs> when I was still on radio, and I thought he was out of his mind. Like, he, he was supposedly doing a Browns podcast. He knew nothing about the team. Like, it was it was really odd. He, remember when he was here, like, it, it was he got married in the middle of the season. Yeah. It was the game. Well, he's married. an odd guy. Anybody that played it, with him will tell you He wanted to be that. a secret age. I mean, there's all kinds of weird, like, all the players that play with him will tell you he's weird, but, like, I mean, they he liked well, him. who cares? They liked yeah. him. But he was a weird dude. But, but he's the perfect example of a one-hit wonder because, to me, a one-hit wonder's got to be really good in that one year, yeah. not just okay. Hot. And he was excellent that one year yeah. and was just a guy, like, beyond just a guy. He was a nothing player the rest of his career. Wow, boy, he just t- took a royal steaming crap on Peyton Hillis <laughs> as an actor, as yeah. a player, as a guest on a radio show. Yes. <laughs> and the, Peyton, I, other than that, how did you like <laughs> and low, All right, Brad. And a, a low-budget film. Yeah, low-budget actor. Uh, it's honorable, not really an actor. Honorable mention, I'm sorry if I steal your thunder, I won't give any details, but the honorable mention to Derek Anderson, of course. Okay. Go ahead. All right, so my, my choice was, I know I had a toss-up here because I almost went with my, my Ohio State alum, uh, Terrell Pryor. I almost did that, but yeah. I ended up going with uh, uh, Kelly Holcomb as the quarterback of the Browns because if you remember, he had that hell of a year. He was running. I mean, they had people thinking that this thing was the next coming, right? And then guess what? Yeah, yeah. Off the cliff, baby. Yeah, he right. found that lightning in, in, in one bottle. Uh, gone. And that was it. <laughs> Moonshine. Out of here. <laughs> yeah. So my original answer was was Peyton Hillis as well. But yeah. I told Mikey, I got a backup that I promise no one else oh, will, will get. Those are the good ones. Alex Cole. They moved the fences back for this man. In 1990, Alex Cole stole, stole 40 bases in 60 games for the Indians. And to the point where... They revamped the entire d- dimensions of the stadium and they pushed the wall back 20 feet to 420 feet. And they said, we're going to go with speed. We're going to build this team around speed. I think they had Turner Ward and Bull Allred in the outfield, oh, but God. it was all because of Alex Cole <laughs> stealing 40 bases in 60 games in 1990. That's and they pushed the fences back yeah. and he was a flop. He got picked off like 17 times the following year, <laughs> and, and, and he was out of Cleveland by 92. Like Willie Mays Hayes. So he was Willie Mays. So in 1990, after the 90 season, they moved the walls back for him. In 92, they traded him. They sent him out of Cleveland. They moved him. We're building our whole – we're, we're rearranging our stadium yes, around yes. the sky. That's and, amazing. And, That's a good one. And that is a really later, good one. Really he's good one. gone out of Cleveland, yeah. and he had like the big goofy goggles. Yeah, like the, the Rex big jug, Yeah. The big bug eye goggles. I loved Alex Cole, the – you know, as a kid, the months he was here, I'm like, this is great. They're, he's going to hit triples. He's going to have inside the park home runs. No, he sucked. <laughs> he couldn't get on base. And when he did, he got picked off all the time. You know, another guy like that 92. was Miguel Delaney. Miguel Delaney yeah. hit like 344 one year. And I think challenged George Brett for the AL batting title. And all the swinging bunts and the stolen bases. Yeah. But he would, he would that was for a minute, too. Yeah, yeah. The league figured out how to pitch to him, and that was it. That was it. Now he's making uh, D level movies somewhere. <laughs> With Peyton Hillis. <laughs> bad act. With Peyton all right. Uh, all of those are good, guys. In Arkansas. Yeah. All is good. I think you take the cake. I love that Alex Cole one. Mine is an obvious one for anybody my age. Joe Charbonneau. Oh, yes. Yeah. Joe yeah. Charbonneau was the rookie of the year in 1980. Yeah. Yep. He had a tremendous year. He hit 289, 23 homers, and 87 ribs. I didn't need that graphic, by the way. I 
But that was the years when you memorized the back of a guy's baseball yep. card. That's synergy, Jay. I know. I didn't. I didn't know you were building that. But and he could open beer bottles with his eyes. He opened beer bottles with his <laughs> eyes. He once got stabbed in a fight. He he gave himself stitches after cutting himself. And guys, he played 201 games in it's his amazing. major league career. There's not another American League Rookie of the Year that's Jeez. played that few games. So, I mean, he hit But Bob hot. Hamlin, remember him? I do remember Bob Hamlin, him. yeah. Kevin Moss, we talked about him yeah, last yeah, yeah. week. Pat Listash. So, they're, they're, these guys come, but yeah. he did it for a year at an all-star yeah. level. He was an all-star. Yeah. And he really came from nowhere. It's not like he was this heralded prospect right, that right. everybody was waiting on. He was a guy in the system. And the next thing you know, Super Joe Charbonneau. There was a song on the radio right. about him. Fans loved him. He dyed his hair at a time when no one did that. Right. And just as quickly as he came on the scene, he was gone. A couple others. These are honorable mentions. Josh Gordon, to me. Oh, yeah, it's a the, good one. The, the season that he had, I think he had 1,100 yards receiving in 12. It was 13, okay. 1,600 yards. Guys. And he only played 14 games. He did, I know. I mean, bad quarterbacks. Nobody does that. Yeah. Nobody does that. And obviously, the marijuana issues, yeah. you know, you got to be available. But throughout the rest of his career, he never had another season where he had at least 800 yards no. received. He ruined his, he, I mean, the rules and he ruined yeah. his career. It, it, I mean, it's really astonishing how yeah. good he was that season. Right. And how we never saw that never. Josh Gordon ever yeah. again. Yeah, and so. the other guy for me was Derek Anderson. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody it, picked it, him as their Derek doctor. Anderson, my G. God. G. Bush picked Derek Anderson for the record. Oh, he did? Uh, G. Okay. Bush did okay. pick okay. Derek I mean, Anderson. He had a great year and was never any good the rest of his career. In 07, he, he led the Browns to a 10-6 and six season. Yep. Right. Just missed the playoffs. He played another 12 years, and yeah. he had 10 wins in the other 12 uh, yeah. years. <laughs> so he, he won half longest, of his games. He played the longest of all these guys that we were mentioning. He was a yeah. career backup. Yeah, and you know because he, you know, he had all. He passed the look test, as they say. You know, he did a lot of things okay. Yeah. He didn't do anything extraordinarily well. Could you make a case but, for Brian Hoyer? Um, Brian's a similar guy in that but he's Derek stuck around. Much better year but Derek than Anderson made the Pro Bowl. Right. Yeah, he had a much better year. And and they won ten games. And this was obviously in the midst of their you know awful decades. Yep. But there was that one shining year there where you know he looked like he was going to be the answer to all of our problems. Yep. And you know he won ten games that year. And in the remaining twelve years of his career, he won ten yeah, games that's, yeah. that's, total. That's, 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 that's unbelievable. That's all right? Did you have one? You don't get one because you don't really – you're not a big Cleveland sports fan. No, but I did see when I was doing the Derek Anderson graphic, he threw 20 more touchdowns in that one season than he did in any other season of his career. So that really is – Well, he threw 29 nine, that year. And he never threw more he than threw nine. He threw 31 for the rest of his 12 years. Right, yeah. Insane. I mean, but we also have some answers from the internet. We asked this okay. question, and as always when we ask the internet – it's brought to you by PCC Airfoils. They're our favorites. Looking for a job with career advancement and great benefits. PCC Airfoils is a leading manufacturer in Northeast Ohio, and all locations of PCC Airfoils in East Lake, Menor, Wycliffe, and Minerva are hiring for all positions starting at $18 and up. Plus, get a full benefit package, paid time off, and a signing bonus. Apply online at precast.com slash careers to learn more. When Tim Couch needs parts for any of his airplanes, yep. he goes to PC. <laughs> <Airfoil. laughs> so we asked the question to the internet. It's what we just asked here. Steve, pull it up. It is, who is the biggest one-hit wonder in Cleveland sports history? And let's cut to the first answer. This isn't an answer, just a great response to the tweet. Josh Gordon took more than one hit. <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. Yeah. It wasn't an answer. But, well, it is an answer, but it was too good not yeah. to put in there. No, so that is the best answer. Yeah. <laughs> that is the best yeah. answer. Yeah, so let's uh, run through these next ones pretty quick here, Steve. Raji Davis, an answer? He literally did one, one hit. hit. Yeah, literally one, one yeah. hit. But yeah. you know what? That hit is, you know, it's my most That's memorable Cleveland sports moment. That's not the spirit of the conversation. No. But no. Next, yeah. Braylon Edwards. Yeah, he's yeah. another guy that yeah. I, c I consider putting him on my list. Yeah. When Derek Anderson was having that all-pro year, I think I think Edwards had like 18 touchdowns or something that year. It was an extraordinary number of touchdowns. Next, Jamie Quirk, literally a Cleveland one-hit wonder. He played a one game for Cleveland in 1984. Is only a bat, a walk-off home run. I didn't know that. And what I'm a pretty, great I answer. Yeah. It's a good, but not in the spirit of the question. It is a it, it's, it's really one in the hit. Spirit that of actually the is the definition. Yeah. It is the <laughs> definition of the. I, and you know what? I'm, I consider myself a diehard Cleveland Indians slash Guardians fan. I, I love trivia. I've never heard that. Yeah, I haven't either. I know Steve too. That's a great answer. And lastly, Booby Gibson for sure. 
One yeah. very good game in the finals. One good playoff game. Booby does qualify, no doubt. Booby qualifies as a footnote to that team that LeBron took to the finals yep. somehow, some way. Somehow, right. some way. But we were fooled. I was kind of fooled by Booby. I really thought that he was legit. Yeah. And was gonna, you know, was gonna be a guy that, you know, had right. an impact no. for a while. He had a lot of injury concerns. Uh, the injuries really, I think, derailed his time. Uh, I, I don't know that I. I think he was a decent player. I don't yeah. know that. I, well, I, yeah. I, 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 I don't. I don't agree with Braylon Edwards either because I know he had one. That was his best year, but he had a couple of the decent years for the Browns. And he had with the Jets. He had. Can one you call year. up? Uh, can you call up his career stats? Give me one. Braylon second, yes. Edwards. I, I think that he had. I I think he had, he 16, had a good year, like a pretty touchdowns. good year with the Jets one year. But nothing like that. Right. But when I think of a one-hit wonder, I think of a guy who was used basically Kevin nothing. Moss. Kevin right. Moss. But I think, that, you know. But the question was Cleveland, right? Who a one-hit yeah. wonder in Cleveland? So right. I don't know that it necessarily matters. Well, but Braylon where had a couple of other decent. Nah, years for the Browns. I'm looking at the stats right Just here. Just read me Bo. the touchdown totals. It's tough. Yeah, in 2007 with the Browns, he had 16 touchdowns. Yeah, I mean, that's right. Unreal. He didn't have more than seven in any other yeah, season. Seven touchdowns seven is, is pretty good. Man, it is. That's pretty, pretty good. good. 16 is an absurd number. Nobody, you know. Seven is a touchdown. What did he have the year the before part. and the year after? What were his stats the year before and the year after? Uh, between the 17 yeah. or 16 touchdowns, the year before he had six, the year after he had three. Mm-hmm. Or, but the, with the six touchdowns, how many yards did he have? He had 884 yards in that's 2006. Good for that's a solid. It's more than Joku's ever put up. They went on tight end. What up? He's no Alex Cole. Yeah. He's no Alex Cole. So wait a minute. Uh, uh, the year after he had 16, he had three. He had three. Yeah, he had 55 receptions, 873 yards, and just three touchdowns. Oh, well, that's still a good year. A no, that's a, I mean, that's a pretty good. Yeah, year. Yeah, he had some decent years. Like no, that he was, was decent, best decent, year, decent, decent. Very good. Yeah. Decent, yeah. Decent, decent, decent. These other guys we're bringing up were n- did nothing. They weren't even like starting caliber the rest of their career. They're like Dean movie actors yeah, now. Yeah, right. The other the other <laughs> exactly. guys you brought up. They're and they're not even any good at that. And they're crazy. Not even they're, Dean. They're, they're 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 crazy. They're more like Z level actors. And they know nothing about the Browns <laughs> today. <laughs> not <laughs> they're in Arkansas. And <laughs> hey, let's talk a little Ryan. Wait, Day, Peyton though. Hillis on line two? We actually put him through. We, we have reached it. out to Peyton Hillis. Not today, good. but in the past, we have reached out to Peyton. He Hillis. probably hasn't gotten the message. He's on set. Yeah. You know, I bet he hasn't even. I don't think he. Use his cell phones because he thinks the government's going to get in his brain. 